Hi, today I want to talk to you about HARP. This will be part one because there's actually so much information that um, I don't want to be overwhelming and um, make you miss something. First of all, let's um, define exactly what HARP is. HARP is um, a federal government program that uh, it stands for, it's an acronym that stands for Home Affordable Refinance Program and it's designed to help you by refinancing your mortgage. A um, couple of rules, you have to be current and the mortgage must be owned by Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae. It's designed to get you from perhaps an adjustable high interest rate mortgage into a more stable fixed rate loan product but note it will not reduce the principal amount the principal is what you owe the bank so it's not designed to reduce that at all it's designed to reduce your payments so they're more affordable and designed to reduce your um, interest rate a couple of things to go over the eligibility again your mortgage payments must be current if you're in default you do not qualify for this program um, you can have one late payment in the past 12 months but zero late payments in the past six months from you know let's say you apply today looking backwards um, you may or may not have equity in the subject property and the good news is that it can be either your primary residence or it can be an investment property um, investment properties are included in this program it must be though one to four units in other words commercial buildings apartment buildings are not eligible for this program so it has to be a single family home duplex triplex or a fourplex and again it has to be um, the mortgage must be owned or guaranteed by either Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae and it has to have been sold to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac on or before the 31st of May 2009 also there are rules about it cannot have been refinanced previously um, when there's a junior lien, um, either a second or a third, more than one mortgage may be HARP eligible as long as the amount due on the first lien is less than 125% of the value of the property. And junior lien holders must agree to remain in a junior lien position. Again, this is something that um, I'll go over in more detail on the very next slide. Um, it made some uh, improvements and some changes to the HARP program in October of 2011. If you uh, refinance to a fixed rate mortgage, there are no limits anymore on loan to value. If you refinance to an adjustable rate, however, there are limits. And a good thing too is that you can choose any participating bank or lender to work with under HARP. If you don't like or care for your current lender, there's no necessity to refinance with that current lender. You can choose any lender um, who participates in HARP. Understand though this is a very new program and a lot of banks and lenders have not sorted out if they even will participate or exactly how to what extent they will participate. Um, and these are guidelines that um, the federal government is promulgating. That does not mean, however, that the banks will necessarily, let's say your house is underwater by 100%. That does not mean that a bank, even though it's allowed to make the loan refinance to you, it doesn't mean that they necessarily will. They have to do what's necessary for their portfolio. Um, you're probably wondering what's my interest rate going to be again that's going to depend on what the market rate is the time you refinance um, what your credit score is what the value of the property is whether you're in a declining market it's going to have a whole different lots of different um, factors that will um, factor into that you also will like any refinance you're going to have fees associated with the refinance um, there might be application fees points 
closing cost fees again that's going those fees are going to vary across lenders and over time as the interest rates adjust they are um, offering attractive um, incentives if you refinance into a 15 year or a 20 year um, program you will get lower closing costs and lower interest rates what they're trying to do is they're trying to encourage people to get the this debt retired sooner for instance if you pay off a mortgage in 15 years the good news is that you know you'll be debt free much sooner of course that's going to you know increase your payments um, your payments will be higher than if you refinanced into a 30-year loan product but if you do finance refinance into a 15-year or a 20-year loan product you will have the advantage of lower interest rates and lower closing costs and again it's just like any refinance you have you might have application fees underwriting process refinance fees whatever fees that the bank um, would normally um, charge you um, how to find out if you if your loan is owned by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac well, that's a good question um, here are two um, sources of information um, you can either call Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac or their website lookups are right here or check with your mortgage company um, calling would probably calling or looking it up online would probably be a lot more efficient and that will let you know if you're eligible because again they have to have um, it has to be a Fannie Mae or a Freddie Mac um, loan to participate in this um, program okay what are the limitations not all mortgage servicers participate in HARP participation is voluntary again this is a federal program federal guidelines and the banks can choose or not choose to participate and they can also make the requirements more or less they can make them more stringent than the federal government has um, decided um, <clears throat> the loan that you refinance it cannot have any prepayment penalties or any balloon payments um, and of course because you are refinancing you are applying for a new loan so again just like with refinancing for a another traditional loan product you're going to have to meet income requirements credit scores and you do have to be current on your mortgage the refinances are limited to conforming loan limits in the area in which you live for instance right now in San Bernardino County in California and Riverside County the maximum amount that's uh, available to lend for a single family residence is four hundred and seventeen thousand dollars so your mortgage balance must be equal to or less than that you can't borrow more than that um, of course for duplexes triplexes that would go up but I'm just talking about single family if you own a home in Los Angeles County it's six hundred twenty five thousand five hundred and then I gave you a link here um, you can choose any state and any county in the country and look up what your conforming loan limits just choose conforming loan limits from the drop-down menu and that will tell you what the limit is that you can borrow understand too with this kind of a refinance program you cannot choose cash out you can only choose to refinance the current balance of the um, mortgage you can't get any money back um, again there's going to be or there may be underwriting fees refinance fees fees that banks may um, give you again you will save money if you choose a 15 or a 20 year product because the interest rates will be lower and the closing costs will be lower the program ends December 31st of 2013 you have to have the note recorded by then okay and um, I'd love to help you um, with HARP refinance questions or any questions related to real estate here's my contact information email phone number happy to help you in any way possible 100 percent free um, no obligation consultation short sales HARP refinance anything and here's a slide that will tell you more information on HARP to go to the website again it's a federal program makinghomeaffordable.gov 
Also, I have done many um, videos on YouTube that I would love to share with you all my real estate information. So go to my YouTube channel, which is um, YouTube uh, Colleen Coleman. Uh, I hope this helps, and please um, you know, drop us a line or call us if we can help you in any way with any of your short sale or HARP refinance needs. Take care.